I'm standing in a room of our home that you don't often get to see, and that is the back porch. Now, while we don't plan on renovating this space right away, this will probably be the last room of the house, we do use it, and we store things in it, and we make use of it. So, we have to make it livable. And right now, we're heading into the hot time of year, and this room is getting unbearable because of the heat, because we replaced the roof. And when we replaced the roof, we took down the ceiling that was in here, and now all the radiant heat can just kind of radiate in. So the room has been getting really warm in here, and it's just too uncomfortable. So I think what I want to do is put a radiant barrier up. Now, we will never be insulating this space, because we don't plan on heating this space. We plan on keeping this space a porch forever, so it's never going to be heated or cooled. In fact, we actually want to do a screen room, so all the walls on the outside will be open screens. And we think that's going to be really awesome and useful for our family. But we don't want to be cooking in here because of this ceiling. So instead of wasting money on insulation for a porch, we're going to be using bubble foil insulation. You guys know that this bubble foil is a radiant barrier. So what it's going to do is reflect the heat and block it from coming down onto us. This should be all that we need to keep this space comfortable. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these furring strips, which we have left over from our workshop build. And I'm going to attach them up in the rafters. And then I'm going to staple the bubble foil to it. And it should be a pretty easy project. And what's really cool about this is that all of this materials is actually left over from our workshop build because we bought a lot of these furring strips that we ended up not using because we changed our plans. And then also all of this is actually scrap pieces because if you guys were following that series, when we did our workshop ceiling, we cut a bunch of bubble foil and it wasn't working out, we scrapped it and we changed direction. So all of this is cut pieces that we can't use. You can see it's actually in multiple sections. Some of them even cut with angles. So I'm gonna try to make the best use of this scrap as I can, I have nowhere else to use it, and piece it together up here. Now this is only being done on the porch to help block that heat and eventually we'll get a ceiling put in here and that'll double help. There's actually three different methods we could do to put this up on the surface, in the bay, or against the roof deck. We're gonna go right in the middle somewhere. And let's start here. Hey Ashley, I don't know if I should put it up high, put it down low, what would you do? High. You would put it up high? Now, I don't think that furring strips are necessary for this job, but it's going to make it easier. I have them, and so I'm going to use them. I could just staple the bubble wrap right to the sides of the joist if I, you know, just folded it a little bit. But I figure, might as well throw them in there. All right, we got all of our furring strips up. You can see on the sides of the ceiling rafters. So now, time for the bubbles. Now, you guys saw that our bubble radiant barrier is four feet wide like that so it obviously isn't going to fit in the base we have to cut it down to two feet let's try to do that i think i'll cut them a piece at a time just in case it goes wrong
Hopefully I cut that straight enough. Now this one's gonna be a little lower because we have a two by four up here that I had put on previously to give an extra nailer for this sheathing. I'll tell you, it is warm working up there in that ceiling, but we're making progress. I think this is gonna make a huge difference in the back of the house. So I'm gonna keep working and get the rest of the ceiling covered. All right guys, we got most of the ceiling done. Now you can see over here, we actually have two more bays plus some odds and ends down there. And the last bay needs to be done, but I'm down to the scraps. That's all I have left. I don't have enough to finish. Except for this piece right here. I actually have a lot of it, but we use it to block the window so that we're not getting bombarded with an evening sun. So I want to leave that for now. So I think I'm going to quit for now. And what I'll do is next time I go to the store, I'll pick up a roll, a new roll of bubble foil because they sell it in a two foot roll and I won't have to cut it to width. I could just put it up there and staple it and finish up those couple of bays. That'll probably be the best option instead of unblocking our window and then we have to deal with that. I don't know if it's working yet, but it feels a little cooler in here. Tomorrow's gonna be the big test with the sun on the house. We'll see how this room feels, but even as it is, we have over 50% coverage. It's gonna reduce the temperature in here a lot, I'm sure. And it'll be a lot more comfortable to get work done back here. So I'll just put that on my list of things to buy at the store, along with so many other things that we need for the house. We went to the store and picked up another roll of the Reflectix. We should be able to finish up the ceiling, especially since I gave in and I took down the window foil and I finished these last two bays that I couldn't do. I decided to do that because this is only 25 feet long and it wouldn't cover everything I needed to finish. And we already had it here, so I said, let's just use it. And we'll just put some curtains up over the windows. So I'm going to finish up this last bay right over here and then we'll be done with it. And now we are in the next day. So we have the sun on the roof and so far I think it's doing a lot better in here. It's a warm day today. What did you say it was in the 90s, right? Today's the mid 80s. Mid 80s. Okay. It feels reasonable in here. So I think this is already helping a lot. And now imagine once we get our finished ceiling put on there, that's an extra layer. So we'll have a air gap, foil, air gap, ceiling. This room's gonna stay totally cool. <sighs> you can put it up on the chairs if you want. Mm -hmm. This one actually might be narrower too because it's the last day. Let's find out. Ooh. There's a... There's a wasp nest up here with two wasps on it. Knock it down. Knock it down? Yes. Ah! right behind the wood there. Take a long stick and... Like your hand? Knock it off.
Okay guys, I think we're gonna have a change of plans and I'm gonna go ahead and leave that bay uncovered for now out of respect for the bees that decided to make it their home. So there's a little wasp nest up there and I, I, I don't know, we're gonna leave it. So we're gonna have to see how this does for now and give them some time to finish up their work and then we'll, we'll do that later, there's no rush. So there it is, bubble foil ceiling and I'm hoping it cuts down on the heat drastically back here. And we have some other plans for the rest of the ceiling going into the kitchen area. We'll be doing that later. We have a lot of ceiling work to do. We're getting into the hot season. We have to start insulating and uh, taking care of our ceilings. Ever can you get that one? You can touch him. All right guys, this is yet another day. I have a haircut, I'm feeling better, and this ceiling is working so well at keeping this room cool. It is noticeably different. So I think that's a success. We're gonna leave it at that. Next time, I'm gonna be working on some other ceilings. We got a lot of work to do. We bought some insulation. We got all kinds of things to show you. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.